무대에서 토 한번 해야지. 무대에서 토 한번 해야지. <웃음> Hi, my name is Sirius, and you can always learn something new from me, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Queen Card and Symbolism. K-pop is a very unique art form, and as such, it can do many things in many ways and many times, essentially infinite times, if you are someone like me who feels it's fun to pay attention to the smallest details. I don't know much about music videos, but I do know literature. It's everything to me, and one of the ideas that my classes have drilled into my head is the motif surrounding visual acuity. I think the first time I encountered this idea was when I read Antigone, and there was a blind man who had a greater sense of sight if you perceived sight in a moral way. He had a greater grasp on the morality of situations than those whose vision was not impaired. And like I said, this is pretty common throughout literature, which is why it's interesting how glasses are typically utilized in female-driven media. We've all seen the movies where a girl takes her glasses off and suddenly she's beautiful. She has everything she wants. This removal of a very literal symbol of her visual impairment does not take anything away from her when traditionally that would have a very different implication. Queen Card has been criticized for its usage of this symbol even as it diverts in some ways from its popular meaning. People think it's easy for beautiful idols to say what does and does not make someone beautiful. The average person struggles a lot more with feeling ugly or inadequate because they do not fit society's standards. I agree that the way Queen Card goes about this trope is definitely odd, but I don't necessarily think it's problematic. You're gonna hear what I have to say and think I believe Soyeon is the devil, but I actually just think the sinister way you can interpret the music video is really interesting, given the background information we see in media all the time. I think Queen Card reinvents a classic symbol in a really cool way, and obviously it's my channel so it's gonna be existential. We're actually going to start with the end of the music video. There are a bunch of sentences beginning with I feel, the final iteration being I feel you. This is a nice sentiment of unity, but it's also indicative of living in bad faith, which is basically when people are living their lives in a means of accommodating the views of other people, often referred to as the other, on how one should act, whether on purpose or not. The video features several scenes where the characters flick back and forth between members of the group like they are interchangeable, like their lives are not independent or lived in quote-unquote good faith. What does this have to do with the glasses? There are infinite philosophies on this earth. I enjoy talking about existentialism, but I don't truly believe in it. And that is a complex relationship everyone has with some set of beliefs. As a result, it's very difficult to pinpoint a set standard of morality. Characters in literature like the ones I described follow the philosophies either of the authors themselves or ones the authors were, like me, intrigued by. But who's to say one person's sense of morality is more true or appropriate than anyone else's? This is why I believe the music video can suggest that living in bad faith is not the negative course of action that people like Sartre would suggest. It's an unconventional perspective, but you can't say it's an inherently wrong one, and that is what Soyeon quote-unquote sees when she puts her glasses back on. There's also the angle of the title Queen Card. If my assumption is correct, it refers to a playing card represented by a queen, which is something that individuals play in games. It's easy to see why that would make someone think the music video sort of glorifies living in bad faith. I call it this sinister because I do think it's a dark perspective, but the entire point of my argument is that there is no set standard of what is truly art or what is truly moral. This is just a thought I had that I wanted to share because I thought it was interesting, and yeah, it's a great music video that I think could have a lot of implications, but these are the ones that intrigued me the most. Is it the destruction or the reinvention of a classic symbol? If you guys have your own ideas, please let me know because I'm always interested to hear what people take away from their own analysis. But besides that, um, have a good day. Bye.